Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about PWA stores, alternative Android stores, and the tyranny of the app markets. Alright, so I spent a lot of time on this channel talking about the App Store and the Play Store and how to rank and all that kind of stuff. And it's strange to think of a world where those places don't exist, right? It's been such a long time. I guess the App Store came out in, what, 2009? Uh, and then the Play Store came out afterwards. And so we're constantly thinking about how do we rank all this kind of stuff. As app developers, as software developers, we gone from thinking about how could I create the best product to how could I create the best marketable product? How could I you know, rise above all the the noise in, those, in the Play Store and the App Store? And, and the way that I've always thought about it was, Sure, it's really hard to get discovered on the Play Store and the App Store. However, it's much harder to be discovered on the web because you have infinite possibilities and at least you have a smaller group. You have a store on the, uh, on the Play Store. But over the years, it's getting more and more crowded. As we all know, discoverability is really, really hard. Not just discoverability, it's the, the algorithms. It's not free and open. One of the things we're noticing a lot as, as app developers is the algorithm shutting us down, the, the unnecessary suspensions, the unnecessary rules that Apple goes through, right? It's, you can't just put out what you want to do. You have to think about, about the guidelines. And if the guidelines were, I mean, the guidelines for the most part are fair, but the algorithms aren't. I get emails, I'm, I'm getting messages almost on a daily basis by people who says, all I did was mention coronavirus in my description and I was suspended, right? Which is just the algorithm working over time, but it is anyway there's kind of become this tyranny of the Play Store and the App Store. So, and every time I talk about one of those things, somebody says, what about PWA? PWA has been there, it's been growing in the background, why don't you do something like that? And I'm thinking, well, then we go back to that on the open web, the discoverability thing. You have that free and open society, but then it's not open. So, which comes to the topic of, of PWA app stores, right? So the reason I bring this up is because I was contacted last week by somebody saying I'm the, you know, it was Matt Ruddy from the PWA, the Progressive App Store. Uh, he basically started a, with a bunch of friends starting a PWA store uh, and he said he wanted to sponsor one of the videos. And I, I, to this, to date, I have not done a sponsorship on a video, but I'm going to. It's just one of these things I need to get around to doing. So I thought, so we had a conversation. I thought, yeah, okay, yeah, that might be interesting for you guys. And in the end, I decided, we're not going to do sponsorship. I just wanted to talk about the concept. So let me just show you my screen here real quick. I want to show you what, what, what they're doing over there. I'm showing you on a browser as opposed to on my phone, but you know, they've got the uh, progressive app, uh, progressive app dot store. Uh, and they have like 150 entries here. Uh, they've got, you, you could submit anything you want to their PWA store and stuff like that. A bit like the, the, the play store was in the early days where Android had so many different options. And it seems to kind of centered in on just a few, a handful, right? So, um, and so the reason I, I didn't want to do this as a, as a sponsorship was because rather than endorse something, uh, I wanted to just put this out there. First of all, for these guys who are PWA developers, if you don't know about this, it might be worth putting your app on some of these, because and, and, this isn't the only one, put on some of the other uh, PWA stores. And also let us know which ones work best. Um, and... You know, and, and just put that out there. So if you put in the comments like, oh, the, you know, I use Chrome Store or I use uh, a different PWA store. And alternately, I did a video years ago where I talked about the alternatives to the Play Store, where I talked about the alternatives to Google Play. And at the time, we had loads. Like when I started in app development back in 2012, there was Slide It, there was uh, uh, a what APK jar or something. Like that. There was um, there were all these different alternative app stores to the Play Store, and a lot of it. And over time, and I was putting stuff to the Chinese app stores, I was putting it to the Samsung store, I was putting it to, uh, to, to Amazon uh, and, and to a few others. And in the end, it just got narrowly focused, right? Where my original idea was, I'll get it out in as many places as possible, a bit like this with the PWA store. And then I just sort of narrowed in on Google Play. And now that it's getting more and more difficult, and the world is changing in general, right? It's, it, I'm, I'm waiting for an alternative to rise. Again, I haven't started with the um, Huawei store yet, which I, which I want to, but it's more about the, um, the in-app purchases and stuff like that. I haven't quite worked that into the frameworks of the applications that I already have. Uh, but um, you know, I wanna know from you guys, 
aside from, first of all, if you're a PWA developer, what PWA stores do you use? Or do you use any, or do you just go out there? Because we've released a couple PWAs uh, from Overpass, and we've just been sending the links out because it's like a small group of users. But I'm, I'm interested in the, the mass market of PWAs. And secondly, for Android developers out there, aside from Google Play, who are you submitting to and how is it working out for you? Because I think a lot of us need to look into going into those markets. However, I will understand if you don't want those markets to get too crowded. So, um, but you know, it'd be really nice to hear about that. So anyway, I just wanted to, to bring this to your guys' attention. It's not a sponsorship. It's not an endorsement. You know, there may be other ones out there, but it's something to think about for those of you guys who are going the PWA route. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys are staying safe, staying healthy, and uh, in, through the pandemic and the quarantine. And uh, I'll talk to you guys again next time.